Hello, and congratulations on the extension of your contract. Welcome to NISCA's How to Steps on Completing Non-Competitive Extension Contracts in the Grants Gateway System. Now that you have read the award letter and followed the instructions provided, it is now time to complete the contract in the Grants Gateway System. Do not be alarmed for most of the information has been entered since the contract is an extension contract. This webinar is presented on behalf of New York State Council on the Arts as a tool to introduce the grantee to the contract module in the Grants Gateway system to make the process go as smoothly as possible. In other words, we are here for you. Let us begin. First, we will log into the Grants Gateway system by going to the website www.grantsgateway.ny.gov. That's www.grantsgateway.ny.gov. You must have your username and password. If you attempt to log in more than twice, the system will lock you out for a few seconds and you'll just re-log re in again. So I re-log in using my username and password. on the login button. Here the welcome page will dis display a few items. View available opportunities, my inbox, and my tasks. And this is where we will be working today. You click on open tasks. Task means that the agency has something for you to do. So note here, you will see this is where the contract will be found. So we are looking for current on the current status, it should say contract info requested. In parentheses, it will be PM, which is program manager. So again, it's con contract info requested. In parentheses, PM, program manager, which is the same as program director. So that means that New York State Council on the Arts has, in has information that's requested from the grantee. We're also looking under name, and you may have one or many contracts here. I have only one contract. You also may have contracts from other agencies, but we are only concerned with contracts from New York State Council on the Arts that will begin with their acronym ART01. So that's ART01. Those are the only contracts that we are concerned about. You will click on that link. And that will bring us to bring you to bring us to because we're doing it together, the contract main page. The contract main page lists a few things here. Contract properties, the period of the contract for this year, and the amount of the contract for that year. Here you will see the contract number, the contract term, the full term, so in this case it's for three years, the contract period for one year, right here, which type of contract is a multi-year agreement, and then it says FSF contract, that means state financial system contract, and it says no. You will also see the period down here, July 1st, 2015 through June 30th of 2016. Then you will see period financial summary, which is the amount. So this is the amount for one year for this contract. So this contract will have $15,000 for three years. But today we will be working on it, the information just for one year, the first year. You can work on any contract within your organizations or organization, even ones not specifically assigned to you, if you have one of the following roles in the Grants Gateway System. That would be grantee, grantee system administrator, or grantee contract signatory. Again, you can work on any contract within the organization, even ones not specifically assigned to you, if you have one of the roles in the Grants Gateway system. Grantee, grantee system administrator, grantee contract signatory. Okay, so today we'll be working the forms menu, management tools, where we check for errors, status changes, and then details. And we'll talk a little bit about that later on. So next, we will click on our forms menu. 
Now our forms menu will show every form that is part of the contract. So every form that is part of the contract will be displayed when you click on that form button. So we are going to work under the expenditure budget today. We are going to work in, on the work plan. Okay. So this is for this scenario is ABC Youth Choir that has been awarded fifteen thousand dollars for one year. So it's a total of forty five thousand, but we are concerned with the first year. So fifteen thousand dollars for one year. What the New York State Council on the Arts wants to know is how will that money be spent? In various expenditure budget forms, which is this, personnel services, contractual, which we, we will work on today, and travel, etc., you will account for how your grant award will be allocated, which is what I just said. You may also refer to guidelines for eligible expenses. Think of the budget as a narrative with numbers. You only need to fill the, out the categories where you are allocating the funds. To avoid errors, do not enter information in any categories where you will not use your grant funding. You do not need to add any information in the narrative form. Also remember to save before moving on to the next form. That's throughout the whole process. Today we are going to hire someone, an artistic aide, and that would we means that we will be working on a personnel services salary. So we click on that, we're going to hire someone. And we receive that grant for $15,000. So that's going to help us pay this person. The person that will be hired will be an artistic team aide. So you put that information here. The role responsibility will be assist with new artists and interns with various projects. For this position, it would be one title. If you have more than one, you put it here. It takes more, you can put in more than one um, number for the position. The annual salary for this position would be 50,000 per year. And then you would go down where it says total grant funds. That means the money that's coming from New York State Council on the Arts, the state. You would put in the money, the amount of money that you're gonna use towards this salary for this position. In this scenario, it would be $10,000. Notice that you see the red asterisk. Everywhere you see that, you must fill in some type of information. So we're putting in $10,000 will help pay the salary of $50,000. Then we will go up here to the top and click on Save. You'll see where it says Processing. Okay, now you see the information has been saved. We want to look at it just to, just to see how it looks. And then you will see here where it says $10,000. So this category is spent, is, will use $10,000 towards this artistic team age on behalf of NISCA. And we are so happy about that. Go back to our forms menu. And as I said earlier, we will be using some of the money going towards contractual. ABC Youth Choir also wants to use $5,000 for artist fees, contractual. So we will click on that. The contractual service that we will use will be for artist fees. It's already been filled out. But for you, you will see nothing here, and you will fill it out if this is the category that you choose. Priority use of funds will be, and this is funds, will be, you will use all of it, the 5000 to pay for artist fees. Then you will click on Save. And you see where it says Processing. And it says this information has been saved. Again, when you fill it out, this will all be blank. So whatever you put here, this is when the funds go that you, your award. Whatever you put here, you click on save and then it will populate down here. Okay. Next we will go 
to the expenditure summary. So we can click on forms. You can open up the entire menu. And we want to click on expenditure summary. Also note that you see little paper and pencil here. That means it's been edited. When you do it, if you haven't placed any information there or anyone from your organization, it will be blank. But since I've worked on this a few times to, so I can present it to you, this is why you see the pencil there. So we would click on expenditure summary. In order to confirm your budget is correct, you review the expenditure summary. This will show how you have allocated the grant award. This example outlines a grant award of $15,000. That will be used for salary support and contraction. The total field total should be equivalent to the grant award. Note that you cannot make changes on this page, even if you wanted to. You can't make changes. But if you do have to make changes, you will have to go back to the categories corresponding form to make the adjustment adjustments, followed by save. If everything is correct on the expenditure summary form, you may now click on the next form, which will be work plan overview. You do not have to click on save on this form because the information has already been saved and there's nothing you could do here. But if you wanted to get in a good habit of just clicking on save, which I suggest, then you can do that. So we go back to work forms. Now you don't have to open up the entire page. You can do it this way, scrolling up and down. But I suggest until you're really comfortable doing that, just open up the entire form. And then you can see everything in one big, beautiful page. So, Work Plan Overview Form. Click on that. Okay, so, Work Plan for the Year. That has already been filled in for you, as I had mentioned earlier. Some information has already been filled in for you. So the work plan period from July 1st, 2015 to June 30th, 2016, you cannot change these dates, so leave them as is. Project summary information is built filled in, and if it's not correct, you can change here, and then you would click on save. But again, you, if it's correct, you leave it as is. But if it's not, then you click, you ch make your changes here in this box. <laughs> And then you will click on save. Okay, so you make a habit of just clicking on save. The project summary should align, align with the project description outlined in the NISCA registration. For sponsored projects, please include the name of the sponsored project, organization, or artist. So for ABC Youth Choir, this is correct, so we are not making any changes. Okay, so organizational capacity. This will be completely blank, so you'll have to fill this out. And it says here, that, and it's under the text, it says, describe the staffing, qualifications, and ongoing staff development, training, activities, and relevant experience of the provider organization to support the project. And you would Put that information here and then you will click on save and then you see where it says this the information has been saved after saving that you notice when you click on forms or you may not notice but you'll see another link here that says objectives you're going to click on objectives An objective is what you plan to achieve with the grant funding. Please be brief. For example, an upcoming programming season, a specific individual project, supporting general operations, etc. Please title your objective. Objective name, you will put that here. My title is ABC Youth Choir. Objective description to have more performances throughout the year. Again, please be brief. You don't have to be as brief as I am, but you want it to be brief and very detailed. Note also that the language that an organization submits 
will appear on the contract. Click on Save. See what it says Processing. The information has been saved. Now here we go. Back to the Forms menu. You see that another form has populated. So I guess you you realize by now every time you save one that's in the work plan overview, another form will populate. Okay, so now we have tasks. So we click on tasks. A task is an activity which will enable you to achieve your objective. Please be brief. For example, if your objective is your upcoming programming season, your task will have to be a series of five performances that will comprise that season. Give the task a name, ABC Youth Choir, and just add the word task. Task description for ABC Youth Choir to recruit interns, new artists, and allow them to participate in season performances. Again, remember wherever you see the asterisk, you have to put something there. And this, you don't see the asterisk, but you must put something here in the in this field. Click on Save. Again, the language that an organization submits will appear on the contract. Go back to our forms menu. Almost there. Click on Performance Measure. Performance measures are how you will determine you have successfully achieved your objective. Please be brief. Give the performance measure a name, ABC Youth Choir, and then you enter information in the narrative. This tells you how much text, how far you can go. You can go up to 1,000. I've only entered up to 75. But again, please be brief and detailed. Increase attendance and attract new audiences throughout the five boroughs. I just want to show you something else. It also has spell check. So notice, if I take that out, let's put a S here and see what comes up. You see that? You see where it's, that red line is saying, oh, that word is spelled wrong. So you highlight it, right click. No, we don't want that word. We want burrows. So we highlight it again. You have to know the words you want and click on Burrows. And there you go. Just, that's good to know. Go back up to that beautiful blue button that says Save and click on Save. Processing. This information has been saved. Now we will go to our management tools where we will check for errors. It's also up here, but I like to do everything in a straight line. It's easier for the eyes. So click on where it says check for errors. You see a round circle with a hand. Anytime you see that, you know it's some type of error. In this case, we have no errors. If we did have errors here, you would see red highlighted text and it will tell you what's wrong and you would just go back to that section of that form and then you would make the correction. So we go back to our back button. And now we're ready for the grand finale. It says status changes. Status changes here. So we want to send this back to our program manager, the same as program director. We are going to click on apply status after we are confident that everything we filled out is correct. Everything is correct. We're confident. We can send it back. Then we would click on Apply Status, it goes back to NISCA to the Program Manager. You click on Apply Status. You see it processing. Great. Excellent. How do we know that we've sent it to the Program Manager? How do we know that it went? Click on Details. When we click on Details here, note current status. It's always important to remember to look under that. It says Program Manager Review. So that means it's back with NISCA, New York State Council on the Arts, and the Program Manager will review it. Excellent. Great job. So now we can log out, and you can enjoy this glorious day. Thank you.